What is up you guys? So in this lecture, I'd like to highlight another important feature of Nemo that is the inverse text normalization toolkit within NVIDIA's Nemo. In case you watched my previous lecture on text normalization, this lecture is simply the inverse operation of text normalization. I'll also be announcing a GPU giveaway as I did last year, but this time the GPU is NVIDIA's 3080 Ti Founders Edition. Now to be eligible to this giveaway, you'll have to register to attend GTC, which is taking place on March 21st till 24 this year. And so to be eligible, you have to register using the link I provide below. So you click on the link, then you hit register. You provide your email as such, for example, then you give it a certain password, then you authenticate. So by now I should receive an email, you verify, done correctly. And now I'm logging in, um, you enter your first name, last name, um, the organization or company, I'll put YouTube, France, industry, you can choose your industry, just put higher education, academia, job role, put um, researcher. Um, what type of application services are you working on? Well, you can put data science, you choose your own um, domain, I'll put data science, for example, conversational AI, and let's say, um, AR and VR, your gender, I'm a male, agree, save and continue. And there you go. So now you're in the GTC conference, you have your own account, right? And so you can view the catalog, see what sessions to really um, be eligible, you'd have to wait for the GTC to start and join the keynote live stream which will be given by Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. You can also look into the different sessions over here. They've got 964 sessions. So for example, you can filter by what interests you. So for example, if you're interested in women in AI, you've got sessions for women in AI, for example, empowering women in data science, go here and you can check my schedule and you can add what interests you as such at the schedule. For example, you could also check what sessions are happening at certain dates, right? You've got this one, you've got 148 sessions on the 21st of March. For example, you've got fundamentals of deep learning by Jen Lee, who's a solutions architect at NVIDIA. Uh, you've also got building transformer based natural language processing applications by Cheng Kuang Li, a senior solution architect in NVIDIA. You've got Palab Maji, who's also a so senior solutions architect at NVIDIA, giving a session on fundamentals of deep learning. Uh, Kevin McFall, master instructor in deep learning institute dli by nvidia giving a session on applications of ai for predictive maintenance you can also filter by primary topics so for example if you're interested in computer vision or conversational ai nlp you can tick that see all the sessions related to conversational ai or natural language processing for example, we've got this session building conversational AI applications by Adam Henrik Grzywakzewski, right? We've got other sessions, for example, Anthony Costa, a senior alliance manager at NVIDIA, um, giving this session. And yeah, that's how you pretty much choose your sessions, okay, at NVIDIA. So prizes will be awarded only to those who register for GTC using the link and attend some sessions. That's very important. You have to attend the session to be eligible for winning the 3080 Founders Edition GPU by NVIDIA. So hope to see you at NVIDIA GTC conference taking place on March 21st till 24th. And I'll personally be attending, watching some sessions. So I hope I'll be seeing you there. So before I start with the Python implementation using NVIDIA's Nemo conversational AI toolkit to build a voice swap model to convert any audio given audio to computer generated one, it's really worth spending a bit of time to talk about what NVIDIA's Nemo actually is. First of all, here, here's the GitHub for NVIDIA's Nemo, and here's the official website with a really nice video. Um, so NVIDIA's Nemo is an extremely powerful toolkit when it comes to building your own state-of-the-art models for conversational AI. So it really has a very well typical conversational AI pipeline, which consists of text-to-speech synthesis, so TTS, automated speech recognition, ASR, and natural language processing, NLP. You can use a lot of pre-trained AI models 
uh, provided to us by NVIDIA for free. For example, you've got the Jasper 10 by five um, pre-trained model. You've got the QuartzNet, those are for ASR. You've also got the NLP, which are BERT based, uh, BERT by Google. And you've got the TTS such as WaveGlow and Tacotron. So before I start with this video, it's worth spending some time to talk about what the inverse text normalization is. So the inverse text normalization, in case you watched my previous video on text normalization, is just the inverse operation of text normalization, which is a part of ASR, post-processing pipeline. Now, NEMO inverse text normalization is based on weighted finite state transducer grammars, just like text normalization. It also uses a Pinini package, which is then used to construct WFSTs and the created grammars can then be exported and then integrated into Sparrowhawk for production. As is the case for text normalization by Nemo, the inverse text normalization also provides support for English and could be easily adapted to other languages and tasks like text normalization. It's very easy to use in your Python environment and it also enables you to easily combine text covering grammars with neural networks. So let's say I am faced with something like $2,500. The inverse text normalization job is to grab this entire phrase and convert it to a numeric dollar sign 2500. And likewise, it applies to other semiotic classes such as date, cardinal, measure, decimal, money, and more. Let's say for time you have in your raw text 10 a.m. Thanks to this inverse text normalization by Nemo, you could easily convert it to 10 colon 00 a.m. So without further ado, let's see how we can achieve inverse text normalization through Nemo on Python. So before I start showing you the inverse text normalization feature by Nemo, I'm going to rename this Python notebook on Google Collab to something like inverse text normalization through Nemo. Okay. The first thing what you want to do is install Conda. We're going to be using this to, we're going to be using Conda to further install Pinini. So the way you do that on Google Collab is through pip install Conda collab, then import conda collab then conda collab dot install give this a bit of time to install so once done let's now install nemo so we'll specify the branch then we'll run a python pip install to get it installed through github give this a bit of time as well so now that we have nemo installed let's go ahead and install our final package which is pinini so I'll run a conda, install conda forge, pinini. And in case you want to specify a certain version, for example, 2.1.3, go ahead and do so. Give this a bit of time. Now that pinini is installed, we're ready to import our packages of interest. So we'll start by importing pinini and importing Nemo text processing. Run the cell. Now we can start playing around with our inverse normalizer found within Nemo underscore text underscore processing dot inverse text normalization dot inverse underscore normalize. We're going to have to import inverse normalizer as such. To instantiate this inverse normalizer, all I have to do is call inverse normalizer and, and set the language, let's say English. Now we could give it a raw text saying, I paid $2,500 for my NVIDIA GPU. Lastly, to see how inverse normalizer works, we call inverse normalizer dot inverse underscore normalize and pass it the raw text. Let's see what that gives. So as you can see here, inverse normalize missing one required positional argument that is verbose. For that, let's set verbose to false. 
and see what that gives. As you can see, the inverse text normalization is properly delivered. I paid dollar sign 2500 for my NVIDIA GPU. You can also change the text to experiment, let's say with time. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Let's see what that gives. And as you can see, the time is properly delivered. I have a meeting at 10 colon 00 a.m. So yes, this is what the inverse normalizer does. It's simply the inverse operation of the normalizer that I have presented to you in my previous lecture. So yeah, that's it for this lecture. In case you found it beneficial, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions whatsoever, kindly leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'll make sure I'll get to it as soon as possible. Also, do not forget the GTC 2022 conference that is coming up between March 21st and 24th. And if you're interested in participating in my GPU 3080 Founders Edition giveaway, don't forget to follow the steps mentioned down in the description section below, as well as in the beginning of this video. So that's it for this lecture, and I'll see you in future videos.